without any further ado, I'm relevant now. I'm going to be opening this Magic the Gathering 350 plus cards, storage box, click wheel, and three play boosters starter collection from Foundations. If you flip around to the side, we get over 350 cards, like I said. Three 14 card Magic the Gathering Foundations play boosters, a click wheel, which I've never gotten before, so I'm kind of interested to see what that is. And then a storage box, because, you know, you always need those silly storage boxes. So we're going to just happily open that open that oh we got a big storage box i thought it was like one of the little dinky ones that you get with commander deck deck builder's guide which isn't necessarily something i need but is good for newer players oh look at him i think that's a loot he's cute so we got some nice art. I, I don't remember the name of that character. I don't feel like it's Giada, but maybe it is Giada. We're gonna just lift this up. So this is the click wheel. Well, that's interesting. It's actually probably better than a die because then y it can go up higher, but then you have to worry about it, you know, doing that. Is there Oh, that's it? There's nothing else in there? Okay, that's just cardboard. Don't worry about it. Some dividers. So here are my three packs. My Arcane Signet. I don't know why this one's set by itself, but I always like an Arcane Signet. Soul Ring and a Command Tower. Maybe that's just like, hey, you know all those guys who play Commander? We know you want these three cards in your deck. Everyone puts them in there. So here you go. We'll have them separate just for you, for your convenience. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. And I think these are white mixed color. Here's some black. And then lands. Well, I feel like they got to have the other colors in there, so let's play around with these dividers for a moment. I guess they're giving you just enough space to organize the different colors and things of each type, which is kind of handy. It's pretty cool. They slide in right there. They have little slots, which is not something I've seen before. Maybe I'm just silly and have missed it this whole time, but that's pretty cool. So we'll put my first three cards, you know, the trio for Commander, away. <laughs> yeah, lands, let's go. Since we've seen some enthusiasm for the lands in the chat, thank you, Miguel, for staying with us. Oh my god, I'm going to make some people I'm sorry, guys, my fingies. Oh, get on get on the floor where you belong. Not you chat. The thing. So this tells you kind of how that works. Then we've got human token, a rat token. Oh, Jeremy, for your rat deck, we got some rat tokens. We got some goblin tokens. A beast token for beast within because it's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, now we have a 4-4. Four, four. Now we got dragon tokens for when you use, uh, like, dragon cultist, I think, needs five fives. Phyrexian goblin. So this is a fancier goblin. We got some fairy tokens. Great for my fairy deck. I have a Leela. Then we got some full art lands. I always like the lands in Magic. I feel like they're really, like, tranquil and relaxing for the most part. I mean, swamps, not so tranquil and relaxing, but... You know, what can you do? We got some planes. Oh, that's a nice plane. Nice plane. Nice plane. Okay, we're just going to... Different plane. That looks more like a plane. I feel like as soon as you have a tree on a plane, it's not like a real plane. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the exclusive too. I want to find out what we can get, Miguel. But, you know, after we entertain you with lands, because I know that's your favorite type of card, Miguel. You love the lands. <gasps> Ooh, that's a pretty island. It looks more like a river or a peninsula, but that's okay. So got a lot of these islands. Got one with the waterfall. Here's a swamp. I feel like we've seen this one in one of the other sets recently, but, you know, whatever. Swamp, swamp. 
Another pretty swamp with a sunset swamp. Okay, mountains, which I think I've seen from another set. But there they are, another mountain in the distance. Looks like a dinosaur should be on that. That's true, water islands but small water lands. They are in fact surrounded by water on four sides. It's crazy. Ooh, look at the forest, it's got like little artistic splotches. It kind of looks like a mixture of watercolor and stained glass, so that's pretty cool. Nice little tree here. Happy little tree. You know, the kind that Bob Ross used to draw. Paint, paint. So those are gonna stick there. Let's see what we get in the standard cards. I know there are lists online, but it's always nice to just refresh yourself. I'm not good at opening things. You're all gonna have to bear with me. We've established this in previous openings. I can't open thing. Oh, it does have the tab. It was hi it has the tab. It was hiding. It was hiding. So we have a shiny Lyra Dotbringer, which has flying first strike, life link, and other angels you control get plus one plus one and have life link. So very handy little angel, even if she's kind of high cost. Right of replication, massacre worm. Oh, they're all mixed together. But these are the rares and mythics. Okay, interesting. Gratuitous Violence, Gigantosaurus, Full Art Card, that looks pretty cool. Just a giant vanilla 1010, Adapted Automaton, a Gilded Lotus, great uh, mana artifact, Maze's End, Angel of Vitality for whenever I decide to make an angel attack at some point, make a stand, Confiscate, yeah, I'm stealing your cookies, Negate, Feed the Swarm, Gatekeeper of Malakir, Gutter Snipe, Jeremy loves that card. I love Impact Tremors. Whenever a creature you control enters the enchantment deals one damage to each opponent. Imperious Perfect, two of them. Palaka Worm, Boros Charm, Unflinching Courage, Expedition Map, Hedron Archive, you can tap it to add two colorless or pay two and tap it to sack it and draw two cards. Cat Collector, that is a crazy cat lady of Magic the Gathering, guys. We have found her. Divine Resilience, Joust Through, Twin Blade Blessing, Clinquant Sky Mage, Fae Bloom Trick, Mischievous Mystic, two of those, Arbiter of Woe, Infestation Sage, two of those, Midnight Snack, because, you know, we're hungry, y'all. And everything's better with butter. Seeker's Folly, Vengeful Blood Witch, Vampire Warlock, whenever this creature or another creature you control dies. Target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. That's always pretty exciting. Got a few of those. Crackling Cyclops, Goblin Negation, Strong Box Raider, Elvish Regrowth, Quake Striker, Ceratops, another vanilla card, but it is a 12-8, so that's a strong boy. Dreadwing Scavenger, Fiendish Panda, I got the Panda card, because, you know, I'm a panda, and this is a bear demon. Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 one -one counter on this creature. When this creature dies, return another target non-bear creature card with mana value less than or equal to this creature's power from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. Perforating Artist, Wardens of the Cycle, Ravenous Amulet, Johnny's Pride Mate, Angel of Finality, flying when this creature enters exile target player's graveyard. Great if you want them to get rid of stuff. I'm excited for Fiendish Panda 2. It is like my, you know, soul animal. What do they call it? Spirit animal? My spirit animal card. <laughs> Aren't small waterlands puddles? <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at it. Savannah Lion, Stroke of Midnight. Great utility card. Brineborn Cutthroat. Got a few of those. Essence Scatter. Micromancer, Mocking Sprite, this might be good addition for my Illegal deck. Has flying and instant and sorcery spells you cast, cost one less to cast. Spectral Sailor, got a few of those. Got something twice. Tolarian Terror, getting a little tight in here. Ooh, move everything over. Scooge. Witness Protection, I love that card. Exsanguinite, Hero's Downfall. Rotting Blight Priest, I feel like I see this card everywhere as in everything. Stormkirk, Blood Thief, Vampire Rogue. At the beginning of your end step, if an opponent lost life this turn, put a 1-1 counter on target vampire you control. 
might be good in like an Asterion or other vampire deck. Vampire Nighthawk. Zombify. Oh no, my forests are mingling with my swamp cards. Burst Lightning. Got it. four of those, apparently. Fanatical Firebrand. Heartfire Immolator. Hidetsuko Second Right. Seismic Rutcher. Thrill Possibility. Bite Down. Yummy. I hungry. Broken Wings. Destroy Target Artifact. Enchantment a Creature with Flying. Very specific. Bushwhack. Dwindon's Elite. We saw a lot of this in Jumpstart. But we got more of those. Garrick's Uprising. I feel like I get that card a lot. So that's nice to have. Giant Growth. Land of War Elves. Another staple. We got four of them because they know. They know we are using this in every green deck we own. Overrun. Snakeskin Veil. Wildwood Scourge. Empyrean Eagle. This made an appearance during a recent game we played. Heroic Reinforcements. And Ruby Daring Tracker. So a lot of nice staples. Very good so far. Let's see what's in this pack, which is starting with blue and green. I mean, blue and black. I know colors. Consuming Aberration. Angelic Destiny. Charming Prince. He doesn't look charming, though. Can I say can I say he doesn't look charming? Is that allowed? Felidar Retreat, Jeremy's favorite card. Fumigate, another one of Jeremy's favorite cards. Linden, the steadfast queen, three white vigilance. Whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain one life. Human noble. Mentor of the Meek, a fun card in my wall deck. Regal Caracol. Zatapa, Primal Dawn, another of Jeremy's favorite cards. Flying Double Strike Vigilance Trample Indestructible. Orcanus the Omnipotent, Dictate of Crufix, Finale of Revelation, Harbinger of the Tides, River's Rebuke, Sphinx of the Final World, Word, Word, Sphinx of the Final Word, Tempest Gin, Voracious Great Shock, Demonic Pact, Desecration Demon, Flying, at the beginning of each combat, any opponent may sacrifice a creature of their choice. If a player does, tap this creature and put a 1-1 counter on it, and it's already a 6-6. Dread Summons, Calastria Highborn, Vampire Shaman, Midnight Reaper, Meogen of Night's Reach, Flappin' No Nappin', Double Slappin', Unflappable Scrappin', yeah. Scraping? Scrappin'? Scrapping or scraping? Witchclaw Talisman, Ball Lightning, Dragon Master Outcast, great card for my dragon deck. Harmless Offering, target opponent gains control of target permanent you control. Okay. Laughless Dragon Queen, Red Cap Gutter Dweller, Stormkirk Noble, Torian Muller, my Tor Torian Mauler. My favorite changeling, whenever an opponent casts a spell, he may put a 1-1 one -one counter on this creature, so it gets pretty big pretty fast, typically. Hero's Bane, Predator Ooze, a Primal Might, Primeval Bounty, Rampaging Balos, Sirach, the Haunt Caller, <coughs> Vizier of the Menagerie. Y yeah, you agree. it's a great card, Jeremy. I love my Torian Mauler. So it, it's mine. It's not going in any decks that I'm making for other people. It's, it's mine. Wildborn Preserver, Aurelia the War Leader. Aurelia? Very expensive commander, starting off at six. Flying Vigilance Haste, whenever Aurelia attacks for the first time each turn, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. I mean, kind of like Karlak, although I think Karlak has double strike. Ailey Eternal Pilgrim, Drog Skull Reaver, Halana and Alina Partners. Inner Sturm Predator, Vampire Dragon, flying. Whenever this creature becomes tapped, exile up to one target card from a graveyard and put a 1-1 counter on this creature. Sack another creature. This creature gains indestructible until end of turn tap it. That one might be very helpful in a token production type deck because you can just make it indestructible by sacking tokens. Maelstrom Pulse. Ovika Enigma Goalith. Prime Speaker Zagana. Built Leaf Liege. Basilisk Collar. Cultivator's Caravan, Dark Steel Colossus, Maze Mind Tome, Pyromancer's Goggles, Ramos, Dragon Engine, Steel Hellkite, Crawling Barons, Temple of Abandon, Temple of Deceit, Temple of Enlightenment, 
getting all the temples now. Temple of Epiphany, Temple of Mal- Malady, Temple of Malice, Temple of Mystery, Temple of Plenty, Temple of Silence, Temple of Triumph, which I think is the only one I've actually pulled before. Tetyova, Benthic Druid, Burnished Heart, you know, that one. Heraldic Banner, great card. As this artifact enters, choose a color. Creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one, plus zero. And if you tap it, you can add one mana of the chosen color. Meteor Golem, Bloodfell Cave. So we're getting a lot of land. So we got two of those. Blossoming Sands, Dismal Backwater, Evolving Wilds. Oh gosh, I have so many of those. I don't know what to do with them. Jungle Hollow. Rogue's Passage, great card. Love my Rogue's Passage. Rugged Highlands, Scored Barrens, Swiftwater Cliffs, Thornwood Falls. We've got some Tranquil Coves, Windscarred Crags, Inspiring Overseer into the Royal Opt. That's that's a lot of ops. I'm opting for less ops in, a, in exchange for Torian Mollards. Just saying. So let's let's add that to the pile. We've got one more predetermined set of cards and then we got to open our packs and see what's excited and i'm really excited for that although i think we're getting a nice base of cards here i love a mystery moment of craving suspicious shambler undying malice dragon fodder got a few of those thornwald archer it has reach and death touch good in pretty much any elf deck because it's got a low converted mana cost archway angel Bally Rush Banneret, Crusader of Audric, Dawnwing Marshal, Cat Soldier, Devout Decree, Disenchant, Felidar Cub, Knight of Grace, Release the Dogs, Stasis Snare, Sir Lynn the Lion's Claw, sounds like he's out of Game of Thrones, Valorous Stance, Chart a Course, Dive Down, Flash Freeze, Fog Bank, A Wall. Jeremy's never seen this one before. It's Defender Flying, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by this creature. Gateway Sneak, Mystical Teachings, Shipwreck Drow- Dowser, Unsummon, Death Mock, Driver of Dread, Duress, Knight of Malice, Pulse Tracker, Sanguine Indulgence, Tribute to Hunger, Vampiric Rites, Vile and Tumor, Bolt Bend. Stay neat. Stay neat for me. Be pretty. Crash Through. That's always a handy card. Dragon Mage. E2 Lava Runner. Got a few of those. Giant Cinder Maw. I like the sparkly throat. Looks like a billows. Hoarding Dragon. Mind Sparker. Obliterating Bolt. Ravenous Giant. The Ashno Pyromancer, Circuitous Route, got a few of those, Fierce Empath, Fin the Fang Bearer, Gnarlback Rhino, Mold Adder, Ordeal of Nylia, Spring Bloom Druid. When this creature enters, you may sack a land. If you do, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Venom Connoisseur, Cloud Blazer, Deadly Brew. Dryad Militant, Enigma Drake, Garna, Blood Fist of Keld, Mortify, Savage Vent Maw, Teach by Example, Trigon Predator, Diamond Mare, it's a horsey, Felden's Cane, Fire Shrieker, Gate Colossus, Sorceress Spyglass, Soul Guide Lantern, Three Tree Mascot, really good changeling from Bloomborough. Azorius Guildgate, Boros Guildgate, Cryptic Caves, Demolition Field, Dimmer Guildgate, Golgari Guildgate, Gruel Guildgate, Izzet Guildgate, Orzov Guildgate, Rakdos Guildgate, Selesnya Guildgate, Simic Guildgate, Hinterland Sac- Sanctifier, Ajani's Primate, Full Art Cards now, Refute, Vengeful Blood Witch. Whenever this creature or another creature your opponent control dies, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. A Braid. Reclamation Sage. Swiftfoot Boots. Shiny Full Art. Swiftfoot Boots. Plains. Plains. Island. Island. Swamp. Swamp. Okay. So now, the mystery has come. What will we get? Which way do these open? Let's find out. Oh. That's the easiest it's ever been for me, guys. I've never 
had such an easy time opening a pack before. I'm pleasantly surprised. We have Stab, Gnarled Colony, Fleeting Distraction, Healer's Hawk, Flying and Lifelink. It's a good card. Sure Strike, Hair Apparent, Rabbit Noble. When this creature enters, create a number of 1 1 white rabbit creature tokens equal to the number of other creatures you control named Heir Apparent. A deck can have any number of cards named Heir Apparent. That's pretty cool. Soul Shackled Zombie, Strong Box Raider, Storm Kirk Blood Thief, an offer you can't refuse. Crystal Barricade. I've never seen this one before. Defender, you have Hexproof. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. That's pretty great. I might stick that in my wall deck. Oh, Chandra. Flame Shaper. It's been a while since I've gotten a Planeswalker in a pack. So she starts at 6 loyalty. Her plus 2 is add 3 red. Exile the top 3 cards of your library. Choose 1. You may play that card this turn. Her plus 1 is create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except it has haste and... At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice this token, and minus four. Chandra deals eight damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. Electro duplicate. So I got three rares. Rugged Highlands. And a food and treasure token, which I feel is pretty great. You use those a lot, so... Happy with that. And a War Elves. Can never have too many of those. Uncharted Voyage. Banishing Light. Asgore Cavalry. Bake into a pie. Quick Draw Katana. Aegis Turtle. Fay Bloom Trick. Meteor Golem. Infernal Vessel. Rogue's Passage. Lathril, Blade of the Elves, has menace. Whenever Lathril deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens. Tapped 10 untapped elves you control if you tap her, and each opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10. Fleeting Flight, Mountain, Food, Treasure Token. So we went from 3 to 1, quite the fall. But last pack, what's, what's inside, guys? Fake your own death, that seems wise. A bite down. Refute. Make your move with the chess piece. Crackling Cyclops. Vampire Soul Caller. Involuntary Employment. Swift Foot Boots. I love a Swift Foot Boots. Affectionate Indrick. When this creature enters, you may have it fight target creature you don't control, and it's a 4 4. Youthful Valkyrie. Bulk up. Spinner of Souls, Spirit Spider, Reach. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Meteor Golem, Bloodfell Caves, Rat, and Zombie this time. So I think we started off better with the individual packs and kind of steadily moved downhill, but I think overall... The starter kit here has a lot of nice base cards that you can stick into most decks and most different setups. So I like it from that standpoint. I'm a little torn on whether or not I like this because I think it's just going to roll around, but I do like that it goes up higher than the other counters we've had in the Pasco. And I do like the little dividers that come with this box because it allows us to organize. So I think that's pretty great. I do wish I got some of the other cards. There were some really good fairy cards and cat cards, so maybe I'll open a box at some point, but we'll have to see. Maybe I'll just buy them. Who knows? We'll see what mood strikes me. And there you have it. That's all I really have to unbox today. We had a trip down Nostalgia Lane, and then we opened some of my newer interests, which is Magic the Gathering. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I get to see you back here soon for more unboxings and other streaming content. Of course, if you like what you saw here today, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you might want to see in the future. Give me a thumbs up. I love those. Subscribe. Ring that bell so you always know what's up, and I will catch you in the next one.
Bye, guys. All you kings, queens, and in-betweens, I just wanted to let you know that the folks over at Primal TCG have set up a promo for just our viewers. Use the promo code KINGS10 at shop.primaltcg.com for $10 off your purchase. Hi, Tasia Valenza, a.k.a. Poison Ivy, and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.